Hi guys, welcome to science. So today we're going to explore the respiratory and circulatory systems using a simulation. So let's begin our game simulation here. So the journey of gases. So let's see here. To start off, we have an oxygen molecule that's just entered the nose and gone down the throat, all right, which we call the pharynx and the larynx. Now it's going to enter the trachea, which is this tube right here. It's made of cartilage keeps it rigid. And now we're entering the bronchial tubes. If you go continue on through here, whoop, you're entering the bronchioles, and now you're entering the alveoli right here. So this is inside the alveoli, alveoli, and this is the capillary, which there's lots of capillaries located on alveoli, as we saw in the lecture. So what they do is oxygen just came into the lungs. We just saw that happen. So this is now inside the little grape-like structure. Oxygen's going to jump. It's going to diffuse through and link up with these cells, these little red blood cells. And the red blood cells are going to transport the oxygen throughout the body. Let's follow our red blood cells through the capillaries in the lungs toward the pulmonary vein, which leads to the heart right here. So the blood enters through the left atrium, and then it goes to the left ventricle, and then it goes up to the aorta. And this, this artery right here goes down to the lower body, and these three arteries up here go to the head and the arms. So let's keep let's follow our little red blood cell as it travels down the lower body. It's going through big arteries, which then travel to small arteries, which are called capillaries. All right. So here the capillary has taken us to a body cell. It could be any cell really. All cells require oxygen to function because all cells undergo cellular respiration. So what we're going to do is we're going to add oxygen. It's going to diffuse off into the cell. And look what's being produced. It's producing ATP in the mitochondria. So if you drag it, you can drop it right over onto them. So let's put this oxygen up here on that mitochondria. See, so all those little guys are mitochondria right here. And they're producing ATP from the oxygen and the sugar. That doesn't show sugar, but sugar is also being transported by the bloodstream into the cell itself. And then the sugar goes into the mitochondria. At the same time as they're producing ATP, they're releasing carbon dioxide through cellular respiration. So that's a waste gas. We have to get rid of that. So if we drag and drop, it'll just diffuse right out of the body cell into the capillary and it'll head straight toward the lungs. So, now these capillaries are going up to the veins. Now, if you notice the structure of the veins is a little different than arteries. Veins have these little valves here. And they keep deoxygenated blood from going backward into the heart. So it's always a one-way flow. All right, now we have deoxygenated blood from the upper extremities and the lower extremities. And they're going to enter the right atrium, go into the right ventricle, and then they're going to travel back into the lungs. So now we have deoxygenated blood returns the lungs via the pulmonary, or, or, pulmonary vein. and just diffuses right out to the alveoli. Oop. Carbon dioxide travels out of the alveoli, like structure, goes through the bronchial tubes, out the trachea, out 
out the larynx and the pharynx and out into the, the atmosphere. So when we exhale, we breathe out carbon dioxide. And that's the simulation. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so be sure to finish the worksheet. You should be able to finish it based upon the simulation for what you saw. All right, cool, cool. See you next class.